Hello everyone, I'm here to show you something that I recently found out how to do. I'm not sure if this has actually been found out before, but I found I think it's extremely useful for people who want to make their own custom models and don't really want to use a program like Techni because of how many bugs it has, or they have a pro they have a model from Techni and they're trying to bug fix it, or if you're trying to put animation on a model. So what I've figured out how to do is actually I'm not sure if this applies to when you're making animation of a model but what I figured out how to do is update models while in game now there are some requirements for this first off you need to be running um, I haven't found out how to I've, I've been working in Eclipse so you need to be using Eclipse and you need to be using debug mode and what debug mode does is it updates the code, at, it rebuilds the code while the program is still running. So any changes you make will be automatically changed in game. Now you can't make big changes, but you can make a couple minor changes, and that's enough to do what we need. And the other thing that you need is you need to have Minecraft Forge. So the first thing you need to do is the easiest way I've found to do this is you just create a command that you run and it updates all of the models in the game or no it doesn't update all the models in the game it just updates whatever model you want it to update so I'm going I'm working on don't starve mod but I haven't done that much so I'm just going to be using this rabbit model I just have a body right now and I'm going to be using the source for that so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class called command model update and then you're going to want to extend command and obviously you have to have a basic idea of how you have to have at least a basic idea of how programming a mod works otherwise this will probably make very little sense to you and I forgot the S on extends. Okay, and then you can just use Control Shift O to implement to import command base, and then just add the unimplemented methods in, and the command name. We're just gonna. This is whatever the user types in to run the command. We're just gonna call it m update for model update, and then in process command, we're going to call update models public or let's just make this a private void update models and we're going to want this only to run on the client side because the server side has no models on it so at side only side dot client and then inside of here um, oh there's one more thing that I like to add if you add get required permission level I like to return to I'm pretty sure that means you have to be op for you to be able to run the command and you probably want to take this code out once you've actually exported or once you actually export before you export your mod or at least like comment it out or something or comment out where you register the command but for now it's very useful when you're trying to create models and see your changes in game so now in our update models we're gonna need to write new render things for all of the models we want so if we go to your client proxy. You see we have this thing here, rendering registry dot render entity rendering handler entity test dot class etc. Or whatever your entity name is here and then whatever the render for it is. So what we're, instead of this, this isn't, this isn't exactly what we're going to have to do. But we do want to copy this part of it. The entity test dot class and the render. So you want to copy that and then we're going to do 
render engine dot no render manager dot instance dot instance dot entity render map dot put and then just paste that in there and there are there's one more thing you have to do with this you want to do render r equals I'll explain this after I get through writing it render r equals render manager dot instance dot entity render map dot get entity test dot class or whatever your entity name is and you're gonna have to cast this to render and you're gonna have to import render okay no s okay and then r dot set render manager render manager dot instance okay so the first thing this does is it changes the mapping for that entity to the new model and since you've since you're running in debug mode, the new model will have whatever changes you've made to it in it. And then render r, or the render is the actual instance of it, and the actual instance of this entry in the render map. If you don't understand maps, uh, it's not too important for to understand how, or it's not too important because this still works if you don't know what a map is, but maps are rather useful, so I'd go figure out what those are. Um, but you have to set the render manager for anything for any renders that you actually want to be used so you have to get the render and then set the render manager and instance is just the render manager of the game now this is fine and all but this command won't actually work if we don't have the command registered so if we go to your main class with the mod then add a at server I think it's server here I have it open over here yeah at server starting public void on server start fml no f yeah fml server starting event e and then you need to get the server command manager so server command manager scm equals um okay minecraft server dot get server dot get command manager and you're gonna have to cast this as well so I have to cast that to server command manager and then scm dot register command new command model update and then we should actually show this working so I'm gonna run my program in debug mode and this is gonna be rather slow just because I'm recording at the same time there's gonna be some lag and sorry about that but um, I have to show that it works so go to single player have our new world here And then uh, I'm going to get rid of that print statement. Hold on. Sorry, I was testing some things out. It's okay. Get rid of that. And the thing about debug mode is because I'm running it in debug mode, all I have to do is save all, and that change will have been made in the code. So now if I go back in you can see it is no longer printing that line. 
So here, uh, my keys get stuck when I'm recording. Okay, so there's my rabbit right now. And I know it's not much of a rabbit, but basically I'm going to show you that this does in ch indeed change the model. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make the box of the model a lot bigger. So it's a 10, uh, 6, and 10. So basically we're just doubling the size of the model. And then Control shift s is save all. And you can see that initially doesn't do anything. But as soon as we type slash m update, then you can see the box got twice as big. And as I said before, this is really helpful if you're trying to model in game and you don't want to have to close and restart Minecraft every time you want to check your progress on the model. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. And if you found this useful, please like the video, maybe even favorite it. If you want to see more content from me, mainly just Java tutorials in general, some Minecraft stuff, and some um, 3D modeling stuff, then subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.